In this video, we will study the immunoglobulins. First, we will talk about the structure of the immunoglobulins and then we will discuss the type and the function of the immunoglobulins. Let's first talk about the structure of the immunoglobulins or the antibodies. The antibodies are the gamma type of globulins and there are basically five types of antibodies. But each of them contain two heavy chains and two light chains. Let me draw a diagram of the antibody which will help us to understand the structure of the antibody. So as you can see the chains in the violet color are the heavy chains and the chains in the green color are the light chains. The heavy chains are of five types that is gamma, alpha, mu, delta and epsilon and the light chains are of two types the kappa and the lambda. Now on the each heavy and the light chain there are variable regions and there are constant regions. The variable regions are denoted by the letter V whereas the constant region are denoted by the letter C. So as you can see on the light chain there are two parts. The distal VV part is the variable region of the light chain and the proximal part is the constant region of the light chain. Similarly the heavy chain is divided in four parts. The distal one fourth of it is the variable region of the heavy chain and the proximal three parts are the constant regions numbered as 1, 2 and 3. Now the constant regions confer specific properties to the antibody. They determine on which surface will the antibody bind. For example, the IgE binds to the mast cells. The variable regions determine to which type of the antigens will the antibody react to. The two heavy chains are bound to each other by disulfide bonds and similarly the heavy chain and the light chains are attached to each other by disulfide bonds. Now let's talk about the various types of the antibodies. So there are five types of the antibodies or the immunoglobulins, the IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE and the IgD. These can be remembered by the simple mnemonic GAMED. Now first talking about the immunoglobulin G. This is the most abundant type of the antibody present in the humans and it accounts for approximately 80% of the total antibodies in the blood. Now the IgG is a single unit antibody that is it only consists of a Y-shaped monomer. And the molecular weight of the IgG is 150,000. Since it is a small antibody, it can easily cross the blood vessels and the placenta. And the immunoglobulin G is the antibody which is mainly responsible for the humoral immunity. And the main mechanism of action of the IgG is by complement mediated destruction of the foreign cells. Now talking about the IgA, this uh, can exist as a single unit or a dimer. When it exists as a dimer, it consists of two antibodies which are joined together by a J-chain polymer and the molecular weight of the IgA is 160,000 and it is mainly present in the body secretions like saliva, tears, sweat, etc. Since it is present in the various secretions, the immunoglobulin A prevents the various types of antigens from entering the cells of the human body. It consists of the heavy chain alpha type and the IgG I forgot to mention consists of the heavy chain gamma type. I am only mentioning here the heavy chains present in these antibodies because the light chains are either of the kappa or the delta type. Now talking about the IgM, the heavy chain present in the IgM is of the mu type. The IgM is the largest immunoglobulin in the humans. It consists of five Y-shaped units which are joined together by a J-chain. The IgM is a very large antibody and it cannot cross the bloodstream or the placenta. 
and the IgM is the first antibody which is produced uh, in any foreign antigen invasion of the body and it is also the most efficient type of the antibody against antigens. The molecular weight of the IgM is 900,000. Now talking about the IgE, the heavy chain present in the IgE is of the epsilon type. IgE is also a monomer and it is present in minute quantities in the bloodstream and the IgE is mainly raised in the people who have allergies. The mechanism of action of the IgE is that it binds to the mast cells and causes the release of histamine from the mast cells. The molecular weight of the IgE is 190,000. The final life of the antibody in the humans is of the IgD type. The heavy chain in the IgD is delta and the molecular weight of IgD is 180,000. It, it is also a monomer that it is consists of a single unit. Now it is also present in the body in low concentration. The IgD has no significant role in the body but it is present on the surface of the B cells and it is postulated that the IgD acts as a B cell receptor for antigens. So this was a short description regarding the structure, types and functions of the antibodies or the immunoglobulins. I hope you find this video informative. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel for further upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.